Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back. Now let's again work with our third unit of inquiry in sharing the planet. It's our practice time. Before we start, I want you all to remember our rule. Now, our rule was what we do to the denominator, we do to the denominator. What does this mean? Here's a simple example. We have here three eighths. And as you can see, I multiplied the numerator of this fraction by four. What did I do after that? I had to multiply the denominator as well by four. So on multiplying the three by four, it gave me 12. Repeating the same action with the eight, which is the denominator, and multiplying it by four as well, giving me 32. I found out the equivalent fraction for three over eight using the multiplication. So let's remember again, what we do to the numerator, we do to the denominator. So let's start our practice booklet page 44. Get ready, please. Here we are. Now find the missing numerator and denominator given the factor. As you can see here, we have four fifths and we're asked to multiply the numerator by two. So four times two will give me eight. I'll do the same exactly and multiply the five, which is the denominator by two as well. It will give me 10. Moving to next example, again, we're given the factor that we're using and we're multiplying up and down by the same number. So here we have three fourths. First, I'll multiply the three by three will give me nine. Then I will multiply the four by three will give me 12. And I'll find out the equivalent fraction using the multiplication which is nine over 12. Now the next here we have, find the missing numerator or denominator, but we're not given the factor. We'll have to learn how to find it ourselves. Here we have one over six is equal to something over 12. I have to ask my, myself, how did I change from six to 12 using multiplication? So let's, recall a multiplication fact and ask ourselves, six times what gives me 12? Let's recall table six, six, 12, stop. So it's six times two, which means that I multiplied the six by two. And what did we learn? If I did something to the denominator, I should do the same to the numerator. So if I multiply the six by two to find out the 12, I should multiply the one by two to find the numerator, which is two. Next one here, I have one seventh is equal to two over something. Now I'll ask myself the same question. One times what is equal to two? Yes. So one times two is equal to two. So again, my factor is two. So I have to do the same with the denominator and multiply the seven by two, giving me 14. Next one, let's ask ourselves again the same question. Five times what gives me 12? 10, I'm sorry. Yes, five times two. So I have to multiply the four by two, which will give me eight. Here I have a number nine. I changed from the three to the six using the multiplication. Again, let's ask ourselves the same question. Three times what is equal to six? Yes, three times two. So I multiply the five by two as well, which will give me 10. Moving to the next example, three times what gives you 12? Yes, three times four. So I multiply the two by four will give me eight. Here we have three over four is equal to 12 over something. And we had this before, three times what gives me 12? Yes, three times four. So I will have to multiply the four by four, giving me 16. Excellent. Next one, how did I change from four to eight? Yes, I multiplied the four by two. So I'll have to multiply the one by two as well will give me two. And the last one here, one times what is equal to three? One times three is equal to three. So I'll have to multiply the four by three as well, which will give me 12. Here we have two times seven is equal to what over 15 equals to what over 21. So ask yourself seven times what is equal to 14? 
7 times 2. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. How did I change from 7 to 21? I multiplied the 7 by 3. As we recall table 7, it's 7, 14, 21. So I multiplied the denominator by 3. So I shall re re multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So 2 times 3 will give me 6. Here we have, I changed from the 2 to the 6. Let's recall table 2, 2, 4, 6. So it's 2 times 3. So I multiply the 5 by 3 as well, which will give me 15. Now moving to the last one, how did I, how did I change from 2 to 12? I multiplied the 2 by 2, 4, by 6. So I have to multiply the 5 by 6 as well. So 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Now here we have 3 times what will give me 6? It's 3 times 2. Now here we have it's 12, the bigger one. I need to divide it, but we did not study the division. So what shall we do? Now what's the factor I'm using? 2. So 12 divided 2 is equal to what? I don't know division. But we know the relation fact between the division and the multiplication. So we will ask ourselves 2 times what is equal to 12? Yes, 2 times 6. Now the last one here, 6 times what is equal to 24? Let's recall table 6, 6, 12, 18, 24. So it's 6 times 4. So I have to do the same with the 3, which is the numerator. I'll multiply it by 4, giving me 12. Now let's move to page 45. Here we have an example. 4 divided 2 is equal to 2. But we don't know this. We didn't study division. We studied the fact between the division and the multiplication. So moving from the smaller, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Or 2 times what gives me 6? I find out that 2 times 3 will give me 6. So 4 over 6 is equivalent to 2 over 3. Here we have 10 divided what is equal to? 10 divided 2 is equal to what? I don't know. But I can ask myself a question. 2 times what will give me 10? 2, 4, 6, 8, excellent, 2 times 5. Again, here we have 12 divided 2 is equal to 6. Then 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So again, let's say it again. 12 divided 2, as we can see here, is equal to 6. Then 2 times 6 is equal to 12. As we studied before, in the relation fact between the division and the multiplication. So I'll do the same here. Up 10 divided 2 is equal to a number that I don't know because I didn't study division. So I'll ask myself what 2 times what will give me 10? Yes, it's 2 times 5. So 10 over 12 is equivalent to 5 over 6. Here we have find the missing numerator or denominator. 6 over 12 is equal to 1 over what? I don't know. I'll move from the smaller to the bigger. And I'll ask myself, 1 times what is equal to 6? Yes, it's 1 times 6. So my factor is 6. So I'll ask myself, 6 times what will give me 12? Yes, 6 times 2. Moving to next one. Here I have... 9 divided 3 is equal to what? I don't know. I didn't take division. I took only the relation fact between the division and the multiplication. So I'll ask myself the smaller number here, which is the 3, times what will give me 9? Yes, times 3. So the factor here is 3. So I'll ask myself again, 3 times what will give me 6? It's 2. Now here, moving from the smaller to the bigger. 3 times what is equal to 6? 3 times 2. So I'll take this 2 and ask myself, 2 times what is equal to 8? 2 times 4. Excellent. Here we have 
Four times what will give me eight? We already know four times two. So my factor is two. So five times two is equal to 10. And that's it for today. Thank you so much. Hope you understood.